What's going on everybody? This is Rodrigo Fondor with Asheville Cash Buyers bringing you all another episode of Whiteboard Wednesday. Today we're talking about what's the difference between being pre-qualified and pre-approved. Today's episode number 30. So as you're shopping for a house or if you're a seller and you're looking to sell your house, these two terms get thrown around a little bit. I am continually or had been continually confused about this and so this is our best understanding of what the difference is. And even when reading and asking different people who are brokers, uh, you know, mortgage brokers, what the difference is, there's a little bit of an overlap and I don't know if there's necessarily a hundred percent consensus on what the difference is but this is our understanding I think it's about as accurate as you're gonna get so pre-qualified is what we're gonna call a soft qualification that's when you talk to your mortgage broker they ask you things over the phone like how much do you make what do you think your credit is uh, they do all the initial research so this is the soft research The pre-approved means that it's a little bit more of a harder commitment. What's that mean? So it's a hard, it's the hard research. And this is going to be a consistent theme as we go down this, right? So soft research is they ask questions. Under pre-approved, they prove answers. So an example of this could be, oh, well, how much do you make? Oh, I make about you know, $70,000 a year. When you get into pre-approved, they're gonna say, okay, well, let me see your tax returns, pay stubs, et cetera. Prove to me that what you sold me is accurate and we're gonna take it from there. You know, uh, that'd be an example. Also, credit score. What do you think your credit score? Oh, I think my credit score is a 700. Okay, cool, let's actually pull your credit. So typically, there's no credit pulled. Pre-approved, they do pull your credit. Ultimately, what does this all mean? As you notice, the pre-qualified is a great starting point and it's, it's considering it as like step number one is a good place to be. Being pre-approved at step number two, uh, that's pretty much as good as it gets without getting the actual approval letter from the bank. And you know, those are sometimes hard to pull until you actually have a property that you're looking at. So once you get these, oh, one other thing, my apologies. No cost, pre-approved, they sometimes do charge you. There sometimes is a fee. So when you're working, if you're selling your house and somebody says that they're pre-qualified, Look, there's, they're obviously interested in getting a mortgage, they're interested in buying a house, but somebody who's pre-approved already is a lot more serious. So hopefully this very quick uh, difference or little chart here uh, will give you some insight on what the difference is and what it means. But ultimately, if you're looking to sell, you wanna work with somebody who's pre-approved, that's gonna go a lot longer, it's gonna be a lot more valid, and it's gonna give you a higher chance of actually getting to the closing table. There you have it, y'all. Hope this was a helpful episode. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, let us know below. Uh, we look forward to chatting with you all next week. Take care.